Okay, our neck's pretty much done. I've set it in the cigar box. Uh, one of the next little tips, tricks, uh, call it what you'd like, I want to show you is, um, you know, for string grommets, you can just drill a hole through and put it through the neck, but eventually the wood, the string will cut its way through the wood. So what I do is I go up to the hardware store and I buy just regular pop rivets. And I'll take and just put just a touch of hot glue so that they hold in, in there. And just drive that in there. And I'll put one in the top and then also one in the bottom. And that keeps the string from cutting the wood up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and it gives it just a little bit of a decorative kind of thing, you know, like a finished look. So I won't bore you with watching me put all eight of these in, but uh, it's a handy little tip to get a finished look. And uh, also just you can get your strings tight. They won't keep coming out of tune because they're cutting through the wood and sinking in. So there's another little tip for you. Last thing we need to do with our, our uh, or not the last thing, but one of the last things we need to do with our neck is put our tuning pegs in. Um, I've already set the bushings down in the hole. They just kind of push down in there. Um, and then putting your tuning pegs on really is just as simple as um, setting them in, uh, drill your hole. I just pushed my peg out. You know, set them down in there. And then uh, from there, all you got to do is just drill your holes and then put the screws in. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy, pretty simple. But um, just line them up and straighten them out. And then once you've got them where you want them, drill your hole and, and uh, set them down in there. So it's pretty okay, easy. We've got to make a string nut for the, our guitar here. And what I usually do is I'll take like a piece. This is a piece of a fingerboard that I cut, a piece of hard maple. Um, I save these little scraps, these little slivers, because um, a lot of times they're just the right size for these string nuts. And what I did was I just laid it down in there, and I marked my height. And then what I usually do is I add about, oh, it's about an eighth of an inch. Um, depends on the, the height of the action you want, but um, I basically cut that down to the height I wanted. And then I just take a piece of sandpaper and I kind of round the edge over just a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll take it to the bandsaw and I'll nip, the, nip that off there and cut it off. Okay, so once I've got that done, I'll usually take a piece of sandpaper and kind of clean up the edges and I'll just radius the edge of that over just a little bit. So it's not like a sharp edge. And then just set it up in there. Um, now, as far as string spacing, um, you can, I've got a real fancy ruler from Stu Mac that works great. Um, nice thing with this ruler from Stuart McDonald is you can lay it on there and you can do spring, string spacing for any width neck and any number of strings. I do primarily mostly four strings, so I've made myself a little template. And I just lay it on there and mark it. And once I get my nut file set up, I'll show you how to set the file okay. up. I, I showed you how we got the little piece of wood for the string nut. And I mentioned um, my little gauge for this, as well as the uh, Stu Mac uh, string spacing guide. Another way you can do that is basically come in an eighth of an inch and then evenly space, whether it's a three string, four string, five string, evenly space your next strings. Now to cut the slots in, you can use a file, you can use a little saw blade. Um, Stu Mac makes these gauged files which work really nice. Um, they give you the, the rounded bottom uh, groove like you need. Um, sometimes if you just use like a wedged file or something you can get string buzz. But these work really well. Um, I highly recommend them. And all you really got to do is just um, once you've got your layout done, just a few passes, get your string groove down in there. And you can always kind of tweak that a little bit later if it's not deep enough. Um, but you want to try and get them even as far as how deep you go down in. And, uh, you know, you, like I said, you can tweak that later. Now, 
basically I do the same thing for a bridge. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do for a bridge. I use wood. I'll get pieces of, uh, of plastic bridge material. Uh, I use brass rod. And basically the same thing. You lay it out, uh, put your string spacing on, take the files, and then uh, put them in there. Basically, we're done with this neck. Um, I'm going to string it up and show you how it is once it's done. Um, other than that, I mean, the neck is 90% of your cigar box guitar, whether you add electronics or not. Um, and I've shown you ele the electronics. Um, it's really a pretty simple process. Um, the neck is your, your key. Once you've got the neck done, the rest is really pretty simple. So I hope this has helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions, naturally send me some emails. I'll do what I can to answer any questions and um, have fun building. That's the whole point of it, is to have some fun, make some music. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed it.